you, Fee? Snoppington. So, you've slithered back into town. Up to another grumpy naughty scheme. I'm not participating in your delusions, brother. You waste your talented mind playing spy games when you could be assisting my research. I'm never assisting you again. Not until you find your moral compass and stop working for the man. Oh, please. Don't try to dress up your cowardice. I'm no coward. I... You still haven't told the green meathead how you feel. But whether that's different, don't try to confuse the issue. I thought so. Leave me to my business and I'll leave you to yours. I am not here to spew gossip for that obnoxious rag you call a newspaper. Very well. If you insist, I will educate you. I am Floofty Fizzlebean, the world's first gastroentomologist. In baby language, I study bug snacks and their effect on grumpuses. To study bug snacks, obviously. <sighs> when Elizabeth Megafig was recruiting for her cult of personality, I observed something strange about her arm. She was keeping it hidden, but she displayed early stages of snackification. That piqued my interest. You are asking for opinions instead of facts. I'm not going to discuss my feelings with you, you emotional parasite. Every time I try to publish my groundbreaking research, you journalists instead churn out slander about my dangerous methods or my questionable behavior. Stop editorializing and focus on the science. I simply wanted to continue my work, Egabel or no, but Shelda blamed me for the disappearances. I'm no stranger to witch hunts. I vacated before the pitchforks could come out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've only eaten one grumpus. Would you prefer I keep my severed leg in the outhouse? The truth. <laughs> Elizabeth was an arrogant coward, unlike Egabel. Egabel truly understood my research. She was hungry to participate in it. Our work together was fruitful, even pleasant, until somebody interfered. Shelda, that mummified fraud stoked Elizabeth's fear of my work, weaponizing her relationship to Egabel, scrambling her fragile emotions, and fabricating a binary choice between myself and Elizabeth. Ultimately, Egabel chose sentiment over science, and I surmise that was the death of her. Yes, I have the password to Agabel's personal storage box. It may be of interest to you. You've wasted enough of my time now. Leave.
How you doing? Hey, bro. Just got done fixing up the old bridge. Would have done it sooner, but Cromdo wanted me to pay him for the rights of repair. Whatever that means. Anyway, no need to thank me. Just go find Shelda, all right? Exists beyond the cell. Ah! The questions must cease. Wisdom can be gained only through experience. One who is you, tainting others with the toxin that is bug snacks, has strayed from the mother's path. So it is. You must atone. Seeking inner peace, Shelda has renounced material temptations. So it is that Shelda is really grumping hungry. Seek the yellow sauce within the great maw of stone. On this, I shall be sustained. <laughs> Yum is one, and one is craving reapers. Consider the sandscape a reflection of the mind. One unable to escape its dry embrace. First, an act of rebirth to break out of my current shelter. 
so too must you break shells, crack open the egglers, give them new life. I too have burst from my shell and so oozes forth my spiritual yoke. Yet obstacles devour that yoke, the sinister peccantis of temptation. To truly destroy these obstacles, one must break them down into their elements. of temptation removed. <laughs> Yet, one still lost in darkness, seeking the light. For only in the light of Mother Nature can the toxin be purged. <gasps> Seek a rasby deep below. A hidden ruin, a maze of trials. Guide this rasby to one's side.
was lost now is found the path to light determined the time has come egress from the sandscape so it is that shelter survives it was a metaphor now to snacksburg goes me to bring such clarity to my followers But it's so sore. Oh, note to self. Get a chair. Bum 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 b